Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Smart Power Strip, which has six ports by Ubiquiti Networks. The model number is the USP-Strip-US, and they had something similar to this before, but it was just the Smart Power Plug. And I did a review on that before, and I'll leave a link below. This is going to be the last video of 2021, and I want to say thank you to everybody who has supported me through 2021, and hopefully 2022 brings a lot of new videos with new technology. In saying that, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have an Amazon storefront and I'll put the links in the description below. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Smart Power Strip. And this is the Unify Smart Power Strip. And we could see that it has the six ports and each one of the ports are labeled. So one, two to six. At the top, we have four USB type C ports, which is awesome. I use two Raspberry Pis to do Pi hole for my DNS. It will be great to power them up with the USB-C directly inside of my rack. At the bottom, we could see our LED. So this will tell us if it's adopted in our controller or not. If it's not adopted, the light will be white. If it's adopted into a controller, it will be blue. The power strip comes with a fairly long power cord. On the bottom of the power strip, we have a reset button and then we have this malfunction button. The Unify Smart Power Strip is made with fire retardant plastic and it operates on the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. And this is the mounting bracket it comes with. It has three screw holes where we can mount it to our wall or mount it to our ceiling. And this backing is also magnetic. So we could stick it to the side of our server rack if we'd like. And then it just comes with our standard package of screws and anchors. And that's the smart power strip. I really like the design of it. Ubiquity always does a good job. So now let's take a look at some of the specs. Between all six outlets, we could have a total wattage of 1250 watts. For the USB type C, we could have 1.5 amps per port. And just like the smart power plug, we could set the power strip up to if it doesn't detect internet to reboot our modem. For this video, I won't be doing that as I already have the smart power plug. And we need to have Wi-Fi to be able to adopt the smart power strip. Down below, it says smart power strip compatibility for adaption. I would assume they mean adoption, but you need to have a Dream Machine Pro with an access point, a Dream Machine, or a security gateway with an access point. And we need to be in Unify Network Controller 5.14.20 or higher. The smart power strip comes in at $49 USD MSRP. I've already mounted this to my network rack and the magnet is pretty strong on it. I have it connected to my shelf in my rack, which you could see here. Now what we need to do, we need to go over to my Unify network controller and get it adopted. Now we're into my Unify network controller and I use a UDM Pro. At the bottom, we can see that the USP strip is pending adoption. This USP strip is plugged into my UPS and I also have a USP RPS, which isn't plugged into the power strip. If the power strip ever failed, I would still want the RPS to power up my devices. So that's just plugged into the UPS as well. So what we need to do, we need to click on the USP strip and then we need to adopt the device. If you're having trouble not being able to see the USP dash strip, you may not have uplink connectivity monitor turned on and you need to have that turned on to be able to adopt this device. So under the new controller, we would go to settings and then under the settings, I'll just search for uplink. And we can see here the uplink connectivity monitor. If we scroll down, we want to make sure that this toggle switch is turned on. Now I'll show you in the classic controller. If you're using the classic controller, we want to go to settings and then it will be under site. We can see here, enable wireless uplink. And we need to make sure that's checked on or we'll never see it in the Unify network controller. Now the USB strip is adopted into our network controller. We could see a couple things. So we could see the model Mac address, IP address, and the firmware update that it's running. We'd also see the IP address that has been given and we could see the uptime and the Wi-Fi networks and we have four Wi-Fi networks available. One strange thing, if we look under Insight, it's showing that none of the power is being used. I'm not too sure if this is a bug, but I have four devices that are connected to this currently and they are being powered by the USB strip. Now, if we take a look at our settings, we could see all of our ports and they're all enabled currently. I wish when we had something plugged in, it would go green. And if there was nothing plugged into the port, it would be grayed out. But as you could see, everything is green and enabled. If we scroll down, we could give this device a device name. I'll just leave it at its default and then we could look at our outlets. So we have outlets one to six and then we have our USB ports. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna name all of these outlets. So on outlet one, this is my UDM Pro. We'll scroll down and then we'll apply the changes. 
So I'll name the rest of them and then we'll come back and look at the other settings. Okay, now we have all of the ports that are labeled. So we have my UDM Pro, the Enterprise 24 PoE, we have my Aggregation Switch Pro, and then we have my UNVR Pro. On the USB-Cs, we have my Pi holes, and all four of these have to have the same name. If we tried to power cycle one of the USB-C ports, it power cycles them all, and I'll show you that right now. So I'll click on the first USB-C, and then we're just going to disable it totally. So under the outlet power, we'll turn it off, and then we'll press apply changes. Now if we look back under our settings, we can see all of the four USB-C ports are turned off. So that's just something to be aware of. Now going back to look at the plug settings, I'll click on outlet 5 as there's nothing on that right now. And we could turn on or off the outlet power. And each one of the six power ports are individual. We could have them turned on or off. So for outlet number 5, I'll turn the power off and then we'll apply the changes. Now if we look back at the settings, we could see that outlet number 5 is turned off and it didn't affect any of the other plugs. And under each one of these ports, we could connect our modem if we'd like. We have our modem power cycle. So power cycle your modem if the internet goes down when your modem is plugged into this outlet. And that's the same thing as that USB plug. I'm going to leave it turned off for now. And then we could do a manual power cycle of the plug. So let's turn this outlet back on. We'll go back to the outlet and then we'll do a power cycle. And that just power cycles the device, so that's great if you need to power cycle your switch or whatever is connected to that plug. Under LED, we could enable or disable the LED, and then we have our network, where we could configure the IP by DHCP or static. And then under Manage, it's the same thing that we see with any other unified device. And that's it for the USB strip. I really wish they had an Ethernet port so that we could hardwire back into our switch. But I think this will be great. I've had a few Protect controllers hang. I could just log into my Unify Network controller and power cycle the port. If your Unify Network controller hangs, you won't be able to get into it though to power cycle. So I may try out a few other managed power strips like the Wattbox. If you have any questions about this power strip, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.